In today's video, I'll teach you how I made these three PowerPoint slides that went viral on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. But before we get into it, I have a special message from one of my sponsors. You guys know that I use AI voices for my viral shorts, and everyone always asks me where to get those from. DubDub is a website where you can generate AI voices in seconds. So just head over to dubdub.com and select text to speech. There's tons of styles, moods, accents, and languages, and you can preview them if you click on the play button on each of them. Sometimes, when I come across these works, I feel a special affinity for them. She carries a disposition. That sounds great. So just write your text and adjust the speed or the pitch, etc. I literally just write whatever I want to say in the video, and it's honestly super quick and easy. I'll show you a PowerPoint trick in 37 seconds. They also have some cool features like AI avatars, transcription of videos, translations, and you can even clone your own voice. Let's have a look at this presentation, for example, where I use DubDub to narrate the slides. Christmas, with its festive charm, brings a sense of joy and goodwill to people around the world. The Christmas tree often includes a topper, ornaments and lights. So thanks DubDub for sponsoring this video. Try it out and let me know what you think. And now I'll show you how I made my viral PowerPoints. Okay, so for the first one, the first thing that we'll do is obviously to insert an image. I just copy pasted this image I found of Frida Kahlo. And now let's go to the shapes panel and select a rectangle. And we're going to make it cover the whole left hand side of the slide. So something like this. Now we're going to get rid of the outline. So go to shape outline and select no outline. And let's also change the color of the fill to white. Now we'll go to insert text box. And here is where we're going to write our text. This effect works best with bold fonts, so I'm going to pick impact and I'm going to make it larger. So something around 130 points. Now I'm going to change the color to black and I'm going to align it to the right. And I'm just going to write my text, which in this case is just Frida Kahlo's name. Now I'm going to change the line spacing as well. So go to this panel here and select line spacing options. And here I'll change to multiple and put in 0.8 and click on OK. Now I'm just aligning everything a little bit. And when you're happy with it, select the rectangle first and then hold shift on your keyboard and select the text second. Then go to shape format, click on merge shapes and click on subtract. And that's how we get this awesome cutout effect. So now what we need to do is just to add a short description here at the bottom. And to do that, I'll just insert a new text box and add my text. And lastly, for the animation, select the cutout text and then holding shift, select the second text and group everything with control G. Go to animations. And let's click on fly in and we'll change the effect options to from left. Now I'll smooth out the animation. So click on animation pane, then right click on this object and select effect options. Let's change the timing to one second, go to effect and smooth the end. Click on okay and you're done. For the next slide, we're gonna go to insert and then click on icons. And here you have a library of icons, so I'll just look for the word continent and insert Africa. Now I'll make it larger holding control on my keyboard. And the next step is to convert it into shapes. So just click on convert to shape here. And now we're going to insert a rectangle that's going to take the whole area of the slide. And then on your keyboard, you're going to press control A to select everything. And then we're going to go to shape format here at the top, go to merge shapes and click on combine. So we get this mask that we're going to use later on. So let's get rid of the outline by going into shape outline and selecting no outline and change the shape field color as well. And now we'll insert an image. I got this one from Unsplash. Click on animations, then on the drop down, click on grow shrink. 
And with the image selected, go to Animation Pane here at the top. Right click on the object here, select Effect Options. And here we're going to change the timing to with previous, the duration to 5 seconds. And we're going to change the size to 125. Let's also smooth the end and click on OK. So this is the effect that we're going to get. And now what we need to do is just to right click on the image and send it to back. Obviously you need to add your content. And here I used two different fonts for the words African Giraffes. I used Dean Condensed. And for the other one, I use Fave Script Bold Pro. And this is the result. And now for the last one, let's go to Insert Video. Select Stock Videos, which is only available for Microsoft 365 subscribers. Select a video and click on Insert. Now let's go to Playback. Make sure that the start is set up to automatically and that Loop Until Stop has a check mark on it. Now insert a rectangle that goes over the slides slightly, but make sure it covers everything. And now I'm going to insert a rounded rectangle from the shapes panel as well. So go to insert shapes here, select the rounded rectangle option, and let's insert it to the middle of the slide. Now I'm going to change the color just so it's easier to see what I'm doing. But now let's round off the edges with the yellow dot here, just drag it to the right. And here I'll just spread it a little bit better in the slide. Let's align it to the center of the slide by going to align and align to center. And now holding shift on your keyboard, select the rectangle first and then the rounded rectangle second. Go to merge shapes and click on subtract. And now let's add an outline. So I'll pick the color white for the outline. And let's increase the weight to two and a quarter points. Now let's change the color of the field to black and then right click on it, click on format shape, then go to fill and let's change the transparency to at around 50%. And now let's go to insert icons and look for a search icon, which is a magnifying glass, select it and click on insert. And now I'll just put it right here and change its color to white. And the last thing that we need to do is to add our texts. So go to insert text box and here we're going to write our title. I'll just center align it and align it to middle as well. I'll increase the font size and I'll also change the font to one that I think I downloaded previously. It's called Aharoni or I'm not sure if it's a system font. So here I'll just write the word wind farm, which is my title. I'll increase the size, change the color to white and just click on this icon right here to add a shadow and then just add your description at the bottom and you're done. That's how you make these three amazing PowerPoint slides. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lurutia PPT. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you on my next video.